so what is up YouTube welcome back to the channel once again you know I appreciate having you here stick around for today's video I've been down to Doble's motorcycles in Causton the website link will be down below so go and check them out and we're not only doing new bike reviews now we're also doing wonderful used bike reviews that's right they do used bikes and they've given me permission to take out any bike I want so I'm gonna try and get on some bikes that I've wanted to ride or maybe bikes that you want to see I'm going to try not to do the average, the normal bikes. I'm going to try and do wonderful bikes, weird and wonderful things that basically interest me, that I just find really interesting, curious, and bikes I just want to bloody ride. And we're kicking off today with this, the marvelous, absolutely outstanding, always wanted to ride one of these, one of the sexiest bikes in my opinion, the Ducati XD Avil S. Thanks for sticking around. This is a 2017 model. And this is the first time I've even sat on one. I don't think I've even sat on one at the show. And I was curious about this and he phoned me up, Ian. If you don't know who Ian is, this is him. Go and hug Ian when you go down to Dobles. He phoned me up and said, I've got the keys to this XD Avril, do you fancy? So I said, yeah, you know that. You know I'm gonna come down and test any bike. I will ride anything. And that's not a euphemism. So we're out on this at the moment. It's up for, I don't know, I can't remember the price. I'll put it on the screen now, but it's got a few extras on there. It's got about 2,000 pounds worth of Termignomi exhaust. It's got a, a brake caliper disc lock thing. It's got a comfort seat. It's got a few other little tricks up its sleeve. And the biggest trick it's got up its sleeve is 160 brake horsepower. That's right, I'm on a cruiser and it's 160 brake horsepower or just above. And the torque is phenomenal. Now I've been playing with the, system here it took me a while to figure it out but i put it in urban because this is the first time i've ridden it and what i found in sport it was a little bit jerky for basically riding in an urban environment which i've been in so i'll put it in urban now and uh it doesn't seem to have the full power i don't know how it works you'll have to do your research on this there isn't just a, a link i can go to on this one because it's a used bike so you can google it and go and do your own research on this but i've got it in urban as i say and uh, we're going to get used to it in this. We're going to have a little bit of a play and then we're going to have a walk around. I'm going to show you around the bike like I do on the new bikes. Then I'm going to stick it in sport and we're going to come back in sport mode. It has got touring as well, but we're going to use urban on the way there, sport on the way back. I might stick it in touring for a little bit. I don't know. we just see how it goes. Anyway, that's enough of this chit chat. Let's see what this little baby can do in urban. Some bloody poke! Oh. <laughs> this thing is quick and this is only in urban. This isn't sport. This isn't full Monty. This is just chilled out mode. And you know what? For a long wheelbase bike, it handles pretty good. It's a little bit slow steering around town but once you get out on these windy roads yeah it goes oh, oh, oh. do you know what the suspension is a little bit choppy for roads like this this is a, a back country lane and it's very bumpy at the best of times and obviously this bike is not designed for a road like this this is designed for good quality roads but this engine oh damn so impressed with this engine i am so impressed and the noise it makes through this exhaust oh wow oh ho, ho, ho. do you know what i haven't been this excited on a bike for ages i always said it's not about speed and power oh i don't know i'm changing my mind people 
<laughs> it really is comfortable. I mean, it kind of sits you in only one seating position. So we crack on with that while we're talking about that is the ergonomics. There's uh, not a lot of wiggle room in the seat. Although this one has a comfort seat and I, I've got to admit it's comfortable. It really is bloody comfortable. And the ergonomics for me are pretty spot on. I mean, it's not full on leg stretched out cruiser. So my legs are not over there somewhere. They're kind of out front, but not too far that you can't use it to handle. The bar width, very nice for me. Oh, I suppose I should tell you a little bit about myself. So I'm cracking on, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, about myself, six foot two, 17 and a half stone, quite wide in the shoulder, long in the legs. That's just so you know how I get on with the ergonomics. I usually do that bit first, but I got so excited about this bike, I actually forgot. Yeah, so the bar width, spot on for me, absolutely brilliant. Reminds me a little bit of my Africa Twin. It's not too far off. You are sitting upright with your legs forward. I have to say, straight off the bat, sitting on the bike, this is one of the most comfortable bikes I think I've been on. I'm astonished at how comfortable it is. Right frontal area, it's got a screen on. This is not standard, this is a touring screen, although it does direct the wind straight in my face, but it's not buffeting at all, so it's not a hindrance, it's not too bad, and it will keep all the crap off your dials, etc. So it's a, probably a wise decision to have that, because you're gonna get a few flies on the front of this bike, trust me. When we do the walk round, I should try my best to go through the TFT screen and uh, give you a little insight into that. There's a lot going on on there, a lot of settings. So we will do our best when we do that. Again, you can always Google these things. I'm sure someone out there has done a full review on this TFT screen. Mirrors, really good. I'm not sure if these are standard or aftermarket, but these are pretty good mirrors. They really are. I can see plenty behind me. Not that there's gonna be a lot apart from things fading in your mirrors because this thing is bloody quick. And here we go, we're getting the commute on. That's just why I put it in urban because I knew we're coming up to traffic like this. And uh, in sport mode, I just found the clutch a little bit jerky, but as it's like this, it's not too bad. I mean, we're going slow now and I'm doing it on purpose to see what the balance is like. And wow, it's pretty good. It's all low down. You can feel the weight of the engine down low. I mean, it's a heavy bike. Well, it's not a light bike. It's not a heavy bike. In cruiser terms, it's probably very light, but it's very, very well balanced. Steering wise around town, it's a little bit slow steering, obviously because it's a long wheelbase, but when you open her up and get her on those flowing roads, it's bloody good. I will say though, this engine is warm. It does keep you warm. Great winter bike, keep, you, keep the back of your legs nice and toasty. But I don't mind that, a lot of bikes are hot. A lot of bikes run quite hot and keep you warm. I mean, you are basically on all bikes, sitting on an engine that's had a couple of wheels strapped to it. Right, while well, we stopped as well, this bike also has cruise control. This little gizmo here. So if you want to just chill out and go for a cruise, after all this is a cruiser, then you could do that as well. You don't have to go crazy everywhere. You can just sit back, relax and chill. And do you know what? This bike makes you feel good. I know I look good on it. I mean, I've got my face covered, granted, so I can create that illusion of a good looking man, but I can just ride past windows and look at myself and think, yeah, boy, you look kind of slick. But this bike is more than just looking good. It's more than just posing. It's actually got some substance to it. It's got power. It handles on those sweepy bends. And it stops well with the Brembo brakes. I haven't used them in anger, but for everyday riding, uh, as I've been riding it now, it stops the bike, which is handy. And I'm sure if you pulled them in anger, it will stop. Obviously it's ABS, front and rear. Uh, so we're gonna get a nice run up at these bends. So uh, let's see how she handles around these lovely little bends here. Ah, Carl thwarted my fun. I can safely say this bike goes around a bend. I mean, it is helped. It's got some super sticky tires on here. They're not cruiser tires, they're more sporty. Again, we'll have a look on the walk round. She sounds so good. I mean, this has got a baffle in. This bike has got a baffle in and it still sounds super sexy. And when you're on the downshift and that overrun, it, it gives that pop, that burble. If you're used to V-twins or that twin sound, that deep rumble, then you'll love this. You will absolutely love the sound of this. 
You know when journalists and people bang on about character that modern bikes do not have character? Shut up! This bike has bucket loads! I mean, not even bucket loads, skip loads of character! I'm falling in love with a Ducati. I've always had a soft spot for Ducatis, to be honest, because my first big bike was a Ducati. I rode a 750 Super Sport, it was my first big bike. But now, I am falling in love all over again! Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm shouting in your ears and it's getting a little bit loud. I apologise. I apologise. But if you ride one of these things, you'll understand. It has got some vibration though. I can feel that through the seat. If you drop it into the chuggy part of the rev range where it's not full in the power band, as in if you change up too soon rather than let the power do its thing, there's a little bit of vibration going through the seat and the bars. But it's not too bad, it's not an offensive vibration. It's quite pleasurable actually. And I've still got sport mode to go. I've still got the excitement of putting it in sport mode on the way back. So this thing is only gonna get faster and better. Yeah, on these long sweepers, it is really nice and planted. <laughs> it just doesn't move offline. It's a cruiser, but it's not. Oh, jeez, man. I am tingling. It's very rare that a bike makes me tingle, and this one does. And we got some cars that want to play. Right, so uh, let's see how she does on the roundabout. Pretty good, again. Jesus, these cars are moving. Right, let's take her into Box Hill, have a little bit of a walk round and also, I'm gonna grab myself a coffee. I'm gasping. All this excitement has got my mouth dry. Right, so here we are, all alone in a car park at Box Hill. That's how we like it, because we are going to show you around this beast here. The Ducati XD Anvil S. Now, this is a used bike, as I said. That's right, Doble's Motorcycles do used motorcycles as well. So go and check out the website below, and you can click on the link for all their used stuff. They've got stuff like this. They don't pick any old shit, you know. They've got some fantastic machines in there, so go and check it out. I don't know a tremendous amount about these bikes, apart from they look absolutely mad. So go and check out the specs online. This is a 2017 model, and it's a X Diavel S. So all the specs should be online somewhere. Well, we're just gonna have a little bit of a walk around, have a look, and I'm gonna show you some of the things on this bike. This one's got a, a couple of extras on there as well, a few extras that don't come as standard. So uh, get yourselves down to Doble's and uh, have a look at this one. Right, so let's do the usual walk around we do with the new bikes, but we're gonna do it with the used one. So let's start with the front wheel. And the front is a, uh, what we got on there? A 120 70, 17 on the front. And on the rear, this big bad boy, 240, 45, 7. I've got a bit on a pitch then. That's how excited I was. That is a big bad boy tire. Check that out. That's my hand. And then again, you don't know how big my hand is, so that makes no sense. So let's carry on with the walk round. Right, the tires are Pirelli Diablo Rossos on these. And uh, they stuck me to the road nicely on the way here. On the front, uh, you've got, obviously, it's got ABS, uh, dual disc, Brembo brakes, and this one's got, this, believe it or not, is a disc lock. There's a little thing that goes in there that you put a key in, and it seals the disc, as in a disc lock, but it's all bolted to the caliper, so it's a lot harder to cut than normal. Forks are nice and, uh, bit of girth on there. Upside down, nice radial calipers. They've also put sliders on there, which is a nice thing. Right, moving back. Oh, the engine, the engine, V-twin or an L-twin. I mean, it is a V if you look at it like that, and it's kind of an L if you look at it like that, whatever you want to call it. It's a monster. The engine is just, it's Ducati. 
it's a big powerful Ducati sounds marvelous a little bit rattly as all Ducatis do but that is part of the charm you know what it's doing it's an engine it's just ah uh, foot pegs uh, slightly forward on this they're not full cruiser as in out here and they're not under you like that sports bike they're a bit in between they're not quite let's say naked bike which would probably be around here they're just in between naked and cruiser and i like it. it took a little bit of getting used to because my feet are used to being down here but yeah pretty good it's a really good looking engine i mean this bit here that's all machined you can see that it's just it's really good quality i say i sound surprised don't i but my old ducati i mean i'm talking years ago was not the greatest quality but this it's moved on it really has moved on this exhaust is a termagnomy it's a full system i believe uh, it's got a baffle in at the moment as you can see there only a little allen kin you can take that out i mean it's quite loud with a baffle in to be honest and it sounds beautiful it really is nice it's got that nice v-twin roar and on the downshift and when you back off the throttle the overrun and the burbles is just oh it's delicious let's move to the back wheel because this is just art this is art this back wheel i mean there's not really a lot i can say about that apart from that is beautiful. That is one of the nicest rear wheels I've ever seen on a bike. I sound like an anorak now, don't I? But I think you get what I mean. It's just stunning. I mean, look at it. That rear wheel is just, oh, that's what it is. It's, oh. Right, round this side of the bike is the uh, same as that side, except it's this side with a few more little bits like this. The suspension, rear suspension's here, obviously adjustable. It's a single shock that, is horizontal that's the word i was looking for uh married to this single side swinging arm and it's belt driven this is belt driven so there'd be no oil splashes up your lovely cruiser and all that rubbish uh your rear guard is a splash guard your rear number plate holder i do like these because it tidies up the back end i do like the way they've gone with that and the rest is just a gear shift pillion peg and the other side of the engine front suspension is fully adjustable as well with these little gizmos here on the front they've put this uh touring screen fly screen i said that on the way up here it's probably a good addition just to keep all the rubbish off your clocks right this bit the seat this seat really is comfortable he told me it's a comfort seat it's an extra and do you know what it's living up to the billing it is very very comfortable pillion seat i'm not 100 percent sure how comfortable they will be you'll have to try one to find out but it does come with a backrest so you're not going to fall off and you need that trust me you need that backrest this bike is fast right so let's have a little look at the lights right on the front we've got this led running light around the top which is on all the time and it's kind of like a handlebar moustache but it does look good don't let that put you off and the main headlights are operated by a switch on the dashboard it's got are they led indicators or are they bulbs i'm not sure it looks like led i would assume a bike of this quality is led uh, they look pretty good let's check out the back right so at the back is pretty cool you've got uh, your indicators down where the number plate holder is on the splash guard there and you've got your brake lights and your led kind of tail lights up under the back it's really nice from this angle <laughs> right quick look under the seat absolutely nothing there you can get to your bits there is a tool kit under there and uh some bits and bobs connectors if you want to connect something it's all under there it's got a data tag on this one as well but no storage right let's have a little bit of a look at the dash i might have to turn the engine on because what it does after a, about a minute or so it all turns off if you don't start the engine to save the battery it is keyless you have got a key here for your petrol because that's a key and obviously to take the seat off so let's go through that start sequence uh, give you a, a look at that And there you go that's the dash lit up it's a tft screen with uh, a few lights up here i am going to start it as i said just to keep the battery topped up because i'm not sure how long it's been sitting and i don't really want to run the battery down all right let's start with the hand controls left is a clutch uh, passing light is here you've got hazard warning light and this one turns on your your lights at the front there obviously you know where the lights are and that'll come up there just to let you know that you've turned the lights on. Under here is your indicators, your hooter. You've got your menu button and your scroll for your computer system here. And this is your cruise control. Over this side, you've got a 
Oh, oh, I just found this button. It's got launch control. I'm not even going to go there with this. But I didn't see this button before. DPL. Launch control. I don't know whether I just set it. I might have done. Here you've got your kill switch, your starter. And uh, I think that's electronic steering lock, this one. Accelerator and front brake. Right, let's go through the dash. Up here you've got fuel light, engine management. You've got your... Uh, I don't know what that is, I think that's a trash control light that will go off at 5 miles an hour Your headlights, your ABS, again that will go off at 5 miles an hour Your full beams and that's your cruise control indicator to tell you that it's on Down here in this standard mode you've got neutral light here, indicators left and right You've got an oil warning light up there At the top you've got a rev counter, you've got some kind of Bluetooth control here You can see it's a little Bluetooth signal here and it's got two sets of headphones and a phone it's not paired to mine, but I'm sure you can pair it up to all sorts of things and use this as a control manual for those things. Yeah, it's telling me side stands down, it's in urban mode, zero miles an hour, your gear indicator here. Down the bottom here, I've got it on range, 64 miles, average speed is 38 at the moment, your fuel gauge and your clock. Right, so this is what you use to muck around with it. So if we go up to here at the moment, the total miles of this bike is 4,256. And then trip one, trip to and then the range is back to 64 miles engine temperature is 97 and then back to total miles so if we go down here this is your instant consumption air temperature which is 24 uh, trip time you've got your average speed again but if I go into the menu see we're on urban at the moment which is your ABS your traction control and blah 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 all that all the settings I don't know if you can do a manual version of this where you can set it up how you like it. You probably can, I would assume you can. If I hold it down, it goes into the settings menu. So you've got riding mode, info mode, lap, pin code, DRL control, backlight, date, clock set, info service, unit setting, Bluetooth. There's plenty on there. Right, riding mode. Oh, that's what we're in already. So we'll exit that. Info mode. So you've got riding mode, you've got track, full, city. I don't know what any of that does. You've got a lap, which is a lap tire, a pin control, I'm not doing that. DRL control. Right, backlight is auto, day or night. So this will turn reverse of what it is now at night. It'll turn black background with white letters or white numbers. This is exciting, isn't it? Info service. Oh, so it tells you you've got 14,500 miles to your Desmo service and 8,700 miles to your oil service. And it gives you an annual uh, service as well. So that's pretty good. I like that. Unit setting, that's uh, changing all your consumptions, miles per gallon, uh, temperature, speed, etc. Bluetooth, uh, let's just exit and go back to your normal. I'm sorry that I'm not the greatest when it comes to showing you through the dashboard and my technical wizardry. Literally, this is the first time I've actually had a play with it. So we've gone through this together. Again, if you want to know more, I'm sure there's probably a video out there somewhere or go to Ducati's website or a forum somewhere and someone will talk you through it. These videos for me are just how a bike feels, how it rides, what I think about the bike. This is not a journalistic review. You know that if you've been here before. You know I'm just a guy that loves to ride bikes and boy, I'm loving riding this one at the moment. Right, we're back on the bike. We're going to have a little bit more fun. I'm still in urban mode at the moment because I'm trying to warm the tyres up a little bit before I go to sport. So we're just going to keep it in urban for the next couple of minutes, wiggle her around a bit, warm those tyres up, and then we're going to hit sport on the way back. We'll have some fun. And she certainly draws attention at the car park. There's a few people around her. So it's uh, not a bike for the shy and retiring. You are going to get some attention on this, that's for sure. Not only are you going to have fun, you're going to get some attention. And of course you're going to look good. If you put some effort in, it really goes side to side quite well. You have to put the effort in though. You have to kind of counter steer. This bike suits counter steering. Let me just pull over here. I'm going to try touring mode for a little bit. See what that's like. See if we can notice the difference before we put it into sport. All right, so menu, touring. Let's hold that down. All right, so we're now in touring mode. We give that a go for a little bit and then put it in sport. So I don't know what touring mode does. It obviously alters the traction control and stuff like that. <laughs> instantly more poke, instantly. Oh, and this is touring, this isn't even sport. 
it's just another level of being alive. I wasn't expecting that. It tried to pick the front wheel up. But I'm sure with the trash control, this thing won't wheelie. You'll probably have to turn all that off for that. I'm not going to try, so don't expect it. It's that little bit when it hits, I don't know, five, four and a half, five thousand revs. It, it just goes. Watch. Keep an eye on the revs, people. Right, five. Yeah, that last bit of the rev range, that five and a half thousand revs, it just sort of like growls and goes. And I'm meant to be touring like this. <laughs> it's going to be a fast tour, that's for sure. Oh, poetry. You get everything on this channel. I'm going to call it a thing. It's no longer got a name, it's a thing. It's just mad. It's addictive and mad. Right, I'm going to pull over here and we are going to sport it up, baby. We are going to go full sports mode. Right, so let's get back into the menu. I am looking forward to this. I don't know if it's in a good way or a bad way. So what it does is it uh, flicks around with the engine as well. So this is full power now, full power. That's right, people, we weren't in full power before. We were just cruising, but now we are. So let's see what we've got. There's a bit. Jeez! It's basically these bars are just to hang on to. <laughs> this thing is mad! Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, there's not going to be a lot of talking in sports mode. I can feel it. There's going to be a lot of noises instead. Oh, the downshift. Oh. <laughs> it just sounds better. It feels better. It's crazy. I'm loving this. Sticks like glue. Seriously, people, I think I might actually wet my pants. It's phenomenal. It's bloody phenomenal. There's not many bikes that do it to me, but I might just have a little bit of a semi right now. This thing is sexy. It is sexy as f The noise it makes, the way it makes you feel, it's handling, it's power. The whole thing is glorious. It really is glorious. And now I've got used to the steering, the fact that it's a little bit slower than a bike of uh, shorter wheelbase, let's say. I'm really liking it. You've got to think about it a little bit more when throwing it around. But once you do that, it's bloody good. And that's how you dispatch of traffic. And uh, the power it puts out. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's phenomenal. As I said, over 160 brake horsepower, but it's the torque and it's the way it delivers it. It is like having a sledgehammer in your chest. It's just like, bam, have that when you hit the power. It's just madness. This thing is fast. This thing is a cruiser, but at the heart of it, it's a superbike. That's all I can say. That about sums it up. It's a superbike in a cruiser package weird but it does make me tingle and it makes my gentleman bits quite excited yeah a little bit bumpy down these roads but handling it's okay 
still in sport mode. <laughs> and I'm only in third. That noise. <laughs> What's nice about this seat as well, because it's sculpted at the back, you sit right in it. So when you do accelerate, you have nowhere to slide. You're right in there and you don't slide back at all. It's just a question of hanging on for dear life with your arms. Right, so what I didn't do in the walk around was uh, let you guys listen to the exhaust while I was off the bike. So what I'm gonna do is find a spot to pull over. And we're just gonna have a little bit of a listen. If that's all right with you, I'm sure it is, but we're gonna do it anyway. Right, so down here you've got your Termignoni exhaust. It's a full system. It has got the baffle in at the moment, so it's a little bit, I was gonna say quiet then, it's not quiet by any standard, but with the baffle out, it'll sound amazing. So this is what it sounds like. And remember, this is just a microphone in a cheek pad. Oh, that is just a little bit sexual. Right, so I'm gonna end the video. We're nearly back at the shop. I have loved every second of uh, this bike. Apart from I've put my sweaty arm all over it and I feel bad now because it needs to clean. Anyway, back to where we were. We were ending this video. I just wanna say thank you very much to Ian at Doble's Motorcycles once again for letting me have on this bike. Please remember to hug Ian if you go down there. I shall leave Doble's website down below in the descriptions box so go and click on their website and you can check all their used bikes yes that's right this is a used bike it is in pristine condition they'll only sell you guys decent bikes so go and check that out the specifications for this bike just google a 2017 Ducati X Diavel S and that will give you all the specs on that and basically what it comes standard with because I'm not sure what is an extra and what's not I know with this one the exhaust is an extra the screen the thing on the brake the disc lock uh, the seat and there's probably a few other things that I'm not sure about so go and check out what's standard and give Dobles a phone call and then you can find out what this has on it so let's end this video properly don't forget to subscribe to like to share to do all those things that you need to do also hit that notification bell so you guys can get the drop on this one let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more used bike first impressions reviews i'm going to do them anyway because i love riding bikes but you can let me know let me know what you think of these let me know do you enjoy this sort of thing just a little bit of interaction basically anyway let's wrap it up for real thank you for coming along on this one really appreciate it i shall see you on the next one you know i love you all stay safe fish out get all your bags get out my house i don't want your stuff around i never did you wrong but you did me wrong so go ahead get gone get all your bags get out my house i don't want your stuff around i never did you wrong but you did me wrong so go ahead and get